The VK56 DE grew from the roots of the VK45 DE, but Nissan increased the stroke by 9.3 millimeters and used a bigger 98 millimeter bore. With that larger displacement, they kept the 32 valve dual overhead cam design, which was massively different from American trucks of the time, which were almost exclusively push rod. It came to market with an impressive 305 horsepower and 379 pound feet of torque, which was later bumped to 320 horsepower in the Infiniti QX56 when using premium fuel, although it's likely that they all made that much power with premium fuel and that was just a marketing gimmick. Much later on, it was updated with direct injection, which massively increased the power to 420 horsepower for select Infiniti models and anywhere from 375 to 400 horsepower for Nissan applications. Safe to say, it went toe to toe with larger engines from other manufacturers and outpaced nearly everything at its size. As with previous Nissan V8s, this was also used in GT1 and Australian V8 supercar racing in heavily modified form, outputting an insane 650 horsepower. 